Hey crafty friends, thank you very much for joining me. This is Enat Kessler with Saturday Extravaganza, and I have a new art journal which I'm going to start today. Um, I'm going to create a new art journal page. It's a really nice art journal. It has thick pages and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it you guys, so join me. So I'm going to draw just freehand a mountain and I'm going to cut it because I want to create a template that um, I can work around and create my background and then create my mountain. So I'm using this template for it. You're going to see in a minute. So while this mountain, this piece of mountain is here on the page, I can create my background and the where the mountain is will still be white so I'm using gelatos and I'm gonna cover both pages with a bluish background with my gelatos I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. Make sure it's completely dry before I continue with my other layers and stuff that I'm going to put on it. So once it's dry, I'm going to bring my gel medium and my tissue paper. I really like this tissue paper. It's by Tim Holtz really has a nice pattern on it with notes and butterflies and script and all kinds of good stuff on it so I'm going to use this for my mountain now the reason I created my stencil before my pattern is so I wanted the background of the mountain to stay white so I worked around it with my background my blue gelatos background so I'm applying a little bit of gel medium and I'm going to add my tissue paper on the mountain. I'm going to do it in a few layers. It's really fun working with uh, tissue paper because it's so um, thin that you can just squish it, move it, and put it any way you want, and it always looks really nice and beautiful effect. So now my mountain is ready, and I'm going to add a little color to it with some brown gelatos. I just added a little bit of water to it, and with my finger, I'm adding the color just a little tiny bit and I'm also going to draw a line around it 
just to give it more definition just use my finger also going to add some a, a brown color with some distress ink onto my mountain see that's why I wanted the background to stay white because otherwise all those colors would not show because everything would have been blue so this was my purpose at the beginning for cutting the mountain out of the cardstock so now adding a little bit of uh, dimension with some stenciling I'm using dimensional paint by art anthology it's a really cool paint it's sort of a modeling paste with color so it's like killing two birds with one stone uh, this really is a really great product this um, dimensional paint and it has different texture there are paints with bling with a little shimmer there are paints that has velvet effect and all kinds of stuff so I'm adding uh, some texture to my sky I added a little textures to my mountain before with some green now I'm doing this it's a blue turquoise kind of a color so I'm just adding here and there of course make sure everything is dry before you move on to your next step so I'm using another stencil here and again I'm using gelatos with a little bit of water and a baby wipe to create a pattern for my stencil I'm using this it's a crafters workshop stencil and I love the stars pattern on it so I'm going to add a little bit of that to my art journal So now this is a little bit of acrylic paint like a, and I'm adding a lot of water because I want to create um, like a spritzer effect. I want to spritz a little bit of paint on the page there so I'm taking my brush and dipping it in the watery paint and I'm going to use my finger adding a little bit more water there so it will be really runny and now I'm going to use my finger to create some spritz it's a little hard to see but it's really nice little tiny dots of light on my page you can do it with a toothbrush or see it's hard to see but it's still there so now I'm taking uh, oil pastel and I'm going to draw some clouds and color them and I'm going to use my finger to smear the paint a little bit just a second this way they become really um, not very visible just in the background it's really fun working with the oil pastels because they fingers work really well with them and they also respond to heat that's why fingers work really well because they're oily and they like heat so when you work with your fingers which are warm you can get really nice effects with the oil pastel so you can make him as white as you choose we used to do this in kindergarten with our fingers it was a lot of fun then and it's a lot of fun now you guys you should try this one so now I'm gonna stamp a few houses I love this little house stamp you've seen me use the bigger one so there's a smaller one it's by Susan Wackesser so I'm using brown permanent ink and I'm going to 
stamp a few of those on just a white piece of cardstock and then I'm gonna add some colors to the houses with gelatos I don't really care that the paint goes out of the lines because I'm gonna cut them later so that's why first I'm applying the color and then I'm gonna cut them so we'll have nice crisp lines to each image. Okay, so now my houses are ready and I'm going to glue them down with a little bit of gel medium onto my um, page there. And the reason I'm using small houses and not the big one is because when you are on a top mountain then everything down there looks really small. So that gives me the right effect that I want. So I'm just adding my houses in layers, like a cluster of houses, different heights. I'm going to cut it, the excess later with my scissors. And the good thing about gel medium is that uh, you can cover it later and that gives you a protective layer if you want to do something on the houses later so it will keep the colors intact. So of course make sure everything is dry with your heat tool. And now I think I'm going to add um, a sort of a... First I'm going to cut out my photo there. This is me. So I'm just going to cut it out. And I'm not going to glue it down, glue myself onto the top of the mountain. And I'm also going to add a winding path that goes up the mountain. I'm using oil pastel here again because it smears. I really like the way it smears and the effect that it has when you use your finger. Thank you. 
okay so now I'm going to stamp my um, quote I think you all know this quote it's kind of a famous a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step so it's kind of a very inspiring quote that well I don't think I have to explain it to you but it's I think it's inspiring to know that all the big journeys of all the great people they all started with one little step so you just have to put one foot in front of the other and walk and before you know it you will achieve great things and your journey will be complete so I really like this quote and I'm this is why I created this art journal page to inspire you and to inspire myself so I'm just finishing with my um, stamping there just filling in the blanks with the black pen because sometimes the stamping is not very good <laughs> so lucky for us there's a black pen that we can just fix everything and I'm going to ink my edges like I always do with some distress ink You know, I like to do that. It always gives it more definition and like a frame. It's fr it's fra frames the whole creation. But I think this is not dark enough. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, oil pastel, really dark brown oil pastel around as well. To give it even more definition and a more visible frame around everything so I really liked how it turned out I hope you liked it too and you're inspired and I discovered I really like to do uh, art journal pages with themes so I think it's a really good start for my new art journal I want to thank everyone for joining me and I hope that you learned something, you were a little bit inspired, and most of all, you had a lot of fun like I did. And I want to thank you very much for watching and spending a few minutes with me here. And I'll see you all next time in the next Saturday Extravaganza tutorial. And have a great weekend, you guys. Have a great week, wherever you are. Spring is here, so smile. Bye, you guys. Love you.